welcome. So today we're gonna be talking about cleaning products. How do you clean your truck? How do you do dishes? How do you take care of trash, recyclables, or spot clean your laundry if you have to spill something on your clothes or get some grease grime on it? So we're gonna talk about that. First off, let's talk about trash. What do you do with trash and how do you dispose of it? You always want a trash bag in the driver's reach. So that way when the driver's um, driving down the road eating their snacks, they have an easy place to throw trash within arm's reach. They don't have to worry about trying to just throw it on the ground or stuff it wherever. So we have two kinds of trash bags and where we store our trash bags is right here in this side cubby. Here's our large our large cabinet and right here is a nice little um, compartment. It's not really usable for a lot of things but it's great for holding your trash bags. We have these nice little free trash bags from Walmart, grocery store, wherever. Time in a knot. We shove them in the top part right there and behind there. And then you see this box right here. That's full of trash bag liners. These bags right here. These are small little trash bag liners. We use these for recyclables. Um, because they don't have holes in it, unlike your free trash bags. For, for these, we put cans in because Scott drinks Dr. Pepper and he likes to keep it fresh and cold and convenient. So he drinks his Dr. Pepper and then crushes the can and throws it into this bag. This bag is hung up inside this big cabinet with our water source, which we'll go over in another video. Trash bags, what do we do with trash bags? We take these bags because they're, they are kind of big and long just for everyday use. So what I, was, I, what I do is I hold it upside down like this and I tie a knot in it, a double knot. And you're thinking, why, why does it matter to be shorter? Well, I'm gonna show you that. So it, it creates it shorter. And then you just have a, a smaller trash bag. It's about this size. So it, it makes it a lot shorter compared to just leaving it untied. And you want it shorter because when you hang it in the driver's seat, there's a little spot in the dash where there's a hook and I'll show you that here in a minute and it hooks to it and if you leave the bag totally untied it's so much longer and it drags on the ground well if you remember in our our video trucker dog it's right hangs right by Lily's dog uh, feed meter feeder and it hangs into her water dish so if we tie it it gets out of her meter feeder and out from under our feet you don't have to worry about kicking your bag all the time of trash and I mean, you really don't collect much more trash than this a day. We take our trash out every day. You don't want to keep trash in your truck. It's going to stink. The truck is always at room temperature. If you happen to use eggshells or something in the trash, then it's going to start to stink. So that's our trash. That's our recyclables. We take out the trash every day. Recyclables at the end of the week. Now let's talk about cleaning the truck. I do not use harsh chemicals at all. One, I can't stand to breathe the um, fumes from it. I have breathing problems. And I don't like to breathe the fumes of harsh chemicals. Two, whenever you are cleaning and you spray something, you get a wet rag, you start wiping it over, the rag absorbs the chemicals and it goes, you know, into your onto your hand, your hand, your skin absorbs that. I don't want that. I don't want to be absorbing those harsh chemicals into my body, whether I'm breathing them or going through my skin. So we use these awesome products called Norwex. So here's all our Norwex rags. We have all different kinds. So right here is the dish rag. This one's for dishes. We have the window cloth. We have this one. It's actually the kitchen cloth, but it was designed for grease and cleaning your stove or other dishes, um, maybe pots and pans that get real greasy. The car mitt and then the body kit. The awesome thing about these rags is that all you have to do is use water. That's it. They have a material, it's called backlock and it's antibacterial um, properties in it. So you don't have to worry about um, using a soap with those rags. You can use a gentle soap if you want to, it's not necessary but it picks up all the dirt grime. If it's on the dishes, you can clean your dishes and it's gonna sanitize them. You don't have to worry about food, getting food poisoning or anything like that because your dish is not being completely clean. So that's the awesome thing about all of those. So we, we use these just water and I will show you how well they do. I mean, face it, coffee spills, you're bumping around everywhere. Coffee spills, drinks spills in your truck, crumbs. This is great for just cleaning all windows, uh, the gear shifter, anywhere where you get uh, grease um, or that real nasty trucker grime. And then here's the, the car mitt. The awesome thing about the car mitt is you know when you're cleaning and your rag, you know, keeps falling all over the place and it gets dirty and keep rinsing. Well, the awesome thing about this is look, it just flips over. That's a new clean rag. It does that three times. You can see the layers. So there's a new clean surface. All you have to do is then get the rag back wet, rinse it, it's clean. So what do you do after you clean? And now your rags are dirty. 
Well, they make this awesome soap, Norwex does, and it's a, it's a powdered soap. I keep it in a mason jar. It's getting a little low right now. But uh, I just put it in a spray bottle then, and it's a soap. So I'll spray the rags down, and then soak them in water, hot water, and rinse them out. Sometimes I'll take them into the bathroom with me and then just rinse them with the soap. Uh, it cleans it, and then you can see I, ha I have them all hung up here. And you're thinking, what's that? Well, this is a clothesline that we put up so we can hang stuff. So it's just hooked where the top bunk hooks down. Just put a piece of cable across there, and now we can hang towels, wet cloths, and they can dry out. You don't have to worry about them getting nasty. That's how we clean the entire truck, basically with these two rags. And then the windows, we use this. They don't streak. You don't have to worry about getting overspray everywhere. And that's, that's that. So the way I get my water, let me tell you that. Here's our water source. It's just an old laundry jug that you tilt on its side and it pumps the water out. So we have two of these Dollar Tree containers. One keeps all of our cleaning stuff in it and the other one, water. So we either use a pan to put water in when we're scrubbing the truck or when we're doing the dishes. We have this little step, let me show you, that my husband built, because I'm short, and it's a reach to get in some of the cabinets. So it's this wooden block, just like this, nothing fancy, and we pretty much use it for everything in this truck. Right now I'm using it for a seat, but I uh, flip it on its side, and I put the jug, I put this, this is the grippy stuff that you put underneath a rug, in your cabinet, so stuff isn't sliding around. Great for the truck. So I put this down, put the water jug on its side so it doesn't slide out, put this underneath of it, instant sink, so you can do the dishes. Now we take, we use a little bit of Dawn dish soap, even though those are perfectly fine, but we use Dawn dish soap and we water it down because you don't want a real concentration of, of soap on your dishes. Often you're just gonna have soap suds everywhere, but that's as far as the dishes go and then all you have to do is open the window, throw your dishwater right out the window, done. Or you can uh, take it over to the grass, but it's just gray water because you're just using Dawn dish soap. This is safe for the environment. They use this to clean up the environment when there's like oil spills and other kinds of things. They use it to clean animals. So, um, and then I have this spray bottle. This has lemon water and some vinegar in it. So right now the floor is really salty grimy and I'm gonna I'm gonna spray some of that down on the floor to help pick up some of that salt grime because if I just use water because of how grimy it is it's just gonna smear that salt grime around and the other two awesome things we use is this little dirt devil it's just 20 bucks Walmart Dollar General it's awesome we just plug it in and it doesn't draw too much power so it works great off the inverter and then of course you got your little broom um, because the dirt devil isn't going to pick up large gravel. So we sweep out the driver's door spot, plug this in, vacuum up, wipe everything down. Pretty easy, simple, you know, three-step clean. Doesn't take up much time. You don't have to worry about having anything. You know, I got laundry, I got the dishes, um, truck cleaning all in one. And then I just slide it, you know, once you're done cleaning, you just stack this back up underneath there slide it underneath the bed it's easy as that so that's how we take care of the cleaning I'm gonna show you an example of how well this does I know some of you are probably skeptical about now how is that really gonna get some dirt grime going and um, woo sorry about the bumps we are rolling down the road and that was a nice little pothole so I'm gonna show you um, yeah how, how simple this really is so I'm gonna vacuum the truck out like I said we're rolling let's see I'll show you all right, so you see how the bag hangs right into her food dish. I mean, even if it wasn't her food dish, it's gonna be hanging over there. So it really shortens the length of the bag, make it a lot more convenient. You also see that salt grime we were talking about. So we put in a more abrasive, this is just a home floor mat to help cut down on some of that dirt grime you're tracking in. But it is so nasty out. You can see there's, especially in the driver's seat, there's just tons of grime. Gets on the side, up the up the side of the seat. And then you also, you know, coffee spills everywhere. So I'm a coffee drinker. And then you can even see like right here where a drink looks 
looks like some Dr. Pepper might have spilled out. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he's saying, stuff. he's saying no. Um, but this is going to come right up with just water and those rags. So you can see this is just a few days worth of grime right here on the seat. Just from touching the seat with, from getting in, from hooking the set. So uh, let me go ahead and get cleaning. Guess the places that I've been. You never guess the places that I've been. Dash. Scott's out fueling right now, so I'm gonna go ahead, fill this bucket up with a little bit of hot water. Um, we just filled this jug up just um, not too long ago, so the water's still fairly warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get these rags damp, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and clean up the driver's area when he's out fueling. It takes about anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes to fuel. We're going to go ahead and knock out his section when he is out of my way. Okay, so you want to keep them fairly fairly moist, um, fairly wet. You don't want to wring it out too much. Okay, I'm just going to set that down on the ground now. This is going to get clean with just water, but it really is. Let's see if I can um, set this there. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay. So we're gonna do the windows real fast. So I'm gonna fold the rag up into a smaller section. That way you can flip it. Because once the rag gets dirty, you don't want to um, keep wiping with the same area. So you can see on there, there is some grime coming off. So I'm gonna fold it over again and wipe some more and I'm only gonna like I said do the driver's section because when he's driving I can do the rest of the truck little Lily likes to get her nose on the window oh, it's a little hard for me to reach around the steering wheel I didn't want to adjust his steering okay so now we're gonna take this one. It's like I said, it's a kitchen Norwex grease one. We're gonna go ahead and do the steering wheel. You're not gonna see the dirt on this rag because it's gray. Imagine that. You'll never, never guess, guess the places, places that I've been. You never guess the places that I've been. Cause everything is like a dream, yeah. But the door handle is notorious for catching grime. Let me go ahead and uh, I'm not gonna worry about cleaning the shifter too much. Where did I put the other rag? Where did it go? Here we go. Here we go. Got this. Okay, we're gonna put the glove on. And um, we're even gonna do the sun visors. Um, get both sides of that. Now this one's already dried a little bit. I'm gonna get a little bit wetter. But only in that dream that I live in. I'm never gonna let the day begin. Never gonna let the day begin. Cause everything is like a dream. Alright, hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna rinse out these rags and show you how much dirt it is. And I have it set up just like I was talking about for the dishes. So I have the box in here, the grip underneath there with the jug on the side and the water pan here. So all I have to do is push this, water comes out. And all you have to do is to release the dirt, is to scrub these back against their cells. Now it's not gonna get it perfectly clean, but clean enough. Now here is the water just from the windows. It's like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in. Oh, don't wake me up before you go, and I'll just make this bed my home. Oh, darling, please just let me sleep. The rags are clean. The dash, the 
windows, they're all clean. And I'm gonna show you how much dirt grime I got off with just using the Norwex cloths and water. Look how filthy that water is. And uh, that's just one, one week worth of grime. So we washed the truck out, try to wipe everything down at least once a week, sometimes more depending on. Now last week we only worked four days, so that's just four days worth of a grime on the dash and windows. So you can see how well these cloths really do work. So it's just a helpful tip, just go on to norowex.com and you can find the regs, you can buy them. They're uh, not very expensive compared to how much you're going to spend in paper towels over time. So it's just a one-time fee and you're getting your cloths and you can keep using them. I've had these cloths for about a year and a half now and uh, you can see with all the cleaning, they are still in great condition. Alright guys, so I'm all done cleaning. You can see I have the rags hung up on the laundry clothesline. Um, they're drying already, the truck's clean. So I just wanted to show you how well of a job the products did and what the water looked like after um, cleaning. So I did the dash, the windows, kind of did them in the order of where grime was uh, the least to the most so that water wouldn't be too gray and I just keep spreading dirt um, all over some main surfaces. So I did the floor last because it was pretty grimy, windows first. Um, and then of course, like I said, different areas, the dash, different stuff. And one thing don't forget to wipe down is the curtain. Uh, a lot of people forget to wipe down the curtain. Over time, it just really builds up some nasty grime. It's, it's an area you kind of forget about when you have it tucked away back here behind the seat. Um, but all right, so I'm gonna flip around here and show you how well it did. So where, where we had that uh, drink spill right there, the Dr. Pepper, <laughs> it's all cleaned up. You can see there's no dust settling around. All right, so here's the floor. Look at that floor. Woo! That is pretty amazing. Like I said, just use water. Um, I did put a little bit of the uh, soap on the floor because it is so salty and uh, nasty. A reason we want to keep the floor real clean also, some of you might just think it's silly, but remember we have little trucker, trucker dog Lily in the truck with us, and that salt grime is dangerous. Uh, who knows what they really put in it. It's not just salt anymore, especially the stuff that they spray ahead of time. Um, it gets on our boots, gets on the floor, and then Lily walks on it and she ends up licking her paws, and I do not want her ingesting um, whatever's in that grime. So let's show you what this water looked like, how nasty it is. There's a little kibble floating around in there, but yeah. So um, that's pretty nasty, gray, grimy. <laughs> see what's up. The truck's clean, at least for a little while until he gets out of the truck. And then it's gonna be dirty again, right? <laughs> um, so. I try to put as little water in that bucket as possible because, you know, I can't just open the window when we're driving down the road and pitch it out. I tried that once. It didn't work well. Bad idea. Bad, bad idea. Don't throw your water when you're moving um, because it comes back in the window. Goes back in your face. Yeah. Thank goodness. It was just like, it wasn't even really dirty water. What was it? doing oh we were getting the rags wet to help get moisture in the air yeah and there was extra water in the bucket and I thought let me just pitch this out the window came back all over the windshield all over my face it was nasty but anyways that's how we keep our truck clean it's it's clean um, there was some grease down here on the door panel I mean this is a light color um, it's gone now and I didn't have to use any grease um, remover, grime remover, any of that stuff. Just water in the Norwex rags. So, I totally love them. Hopefully that helps you. And it gives you some good uh, tips. You can see, um, I was we were on the road the entire time we were moving. Some of you are thinking, well that's silly, why are you cleaning your truck when you're moving down the road? We drive teams, our truck does not stop hardly ever. And when it is stopped, we're either eating or taking a shower. It's the only things we do when the truck stops, isn't it? <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's over there winking um yeah what, 
What do you have something to say? <laughs> no, nothing. 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 He has nothing to say. Family oriented show. Yes, I have nothing to say. Okay. So that's it, guys. Um, I mean, we we have to clean when we're going. Um, the way we kind of break down the truck is I I kind of do the things on the inside of the truck, um, the cleaning, the cooking. And Scott takes care of the things for the most part on the outside, um, except for um, some of the fueling on some days. I do have to fuel the truck. It's not that big of a deal though. I'm, I'm used to it. But uh, he takes care of filling up the washer solvents, checking the oil, um, any of the other fluids, keeping an eye on some of the other stuff. Um, and I take care of the inside of the truck. So that's kind of how we divided it up. It works well for us. And it doesn't feel like one of us is doing more than the other. But all right, guys, until next time, stay safe and join us for the next adventure. Bye. All right, so bonus tip. We forgot one little thing about keeping the truck clean and um, keeping your air more purified. It's a two-in-one kind of deal. So keep the um, air recirculating in the truck. So let me show you what that little button looks like. Right here on the Volvo, it is right here it's this button here see how it's lit up red that means that it's on if it's pushed like this it's gonna bring fresh air in the truck you're thinking why why do I want to do that well when there is salt grime which there will be salt grime if you're driving up in the north or in the east it's going to be salt grime on the road all winter long and if you're recirculating if you're not recirculating that air it's just gonna kick it up into the truck you're gonna breathe it, it's gonna create dust, it's gonna get more grime in your truck, and then your cab filter is just gonna get dirtier because now it's just pulling it straight through the truck into that other filter. And uh, that filter is right underneath here. And um, I do vacuum that out um, when, I'm, when I'm vacuuming to help make it so it lasts a little longer. But that's the bonus tip. See ya. Give me my dreams. Thank you.